Alrighty, here we go. Just got a few things to do here. One of which is refresh my dashboard here. Because professional. Right? I mean, not that it matters, it's gonna be uh, <coughs> cut out of my final video. But here we go. Anyway, we're going to be going on to the Poke Cup using the usual team. Surprising no one. Oh, Genesis, Smog, Ruby, Lies, Enertron, and Sephira is our team this time. Well, let's get this show on the road. Wow, this is a more respectable start than, uh, Rhyme Cup was. Oh, well, that just gave away that I'm red uploading these out of order. <laughs> uh, let's go with Ruby, Genesis, and Lies. Genesis is named after the Genesis tree, not the Seneca Genesis. Just in case you were confused about that. I was playing Pokemon Stadium to get through um, the Challenge Cup because I'm not doing that shit. And uh, my star, you, my star me set's different on that. And different in the sense that Ice Beam and Thunderbolt are back. Uh, it's, a, it's a metronome set for this guy. I can't believe I managed to not kill the thing. Crazy. That's crazy. Well, if he's gonna be spamming Metronome, uh, at least you know, I have to worry about hypnosis. Come on, Ruby, wake up, buddy. Thank you. Constrict. That's not a trapping move, is it? I hope not. I can never remember. No, Constrict is just the weakest move in the entire game. <clears throat> like, power 10 with a chance to lower speed? whoop de friggin do Yep. Yeah, first turn you got fucking, uh... Spore, no less. So this fight's already longer than it has to be. Yeah, this is the metronome fucker. Do I dare switch, though? Why I went for Thunderbolt last time, I have no idea. Oh, fuck you! Might as well have went for Thunderbolt for all the fucking good it did. String shot is better, because, you know... Oh, fucking A! It's a good thing that was coming from Nabra. Fucking explosion. Hitmo Chan. Fucking names. Okay, since you really like to use your fucking sleep moves. Let's send in lies! Even though Ruby's got a clear advantage here. Oh, Gen 6, it's the 2? Speaking of, how did that come up twice? Does that affect the critical hit rate of Slash? Apparently not. 
this is base speed, not modified speed. And with Mewtwo's speed tier, like I said before, you know, there's... He's almost guaranteed a critical hit anyway, so running Amnesia on him is retarded. What is this garbage? I hope you blow up on this turn. Fucking prick. No, instead he's gonna paralyze me. Fucking douchebag. And get the full paralysis. Fucking hell. Alright, Genesis, get out there so that you can get strength shotted. Because the RNG is a douchebag. Hmm. It's not gonna do a whole lot, is it? Eh, 46. And this is the first battle. This is fun. Oh, dang. Well, I guess it's a guaranteed critical hit from Venusaur anyway, so... Actually, I think it's a guaranteed critical hit from Bulbasaur. for Ruby. What's Sephira got? Yeah, well, let's use her. What's that? Or actually, because of her <coughs> IV, her DVs, technically male. Because they're perfect. 15 and everything is pretty much guaranteed to be male unless the Pokemon is um, female only. Gotta love how they use that for uh, determining everything. So I guess technically your personality value is um, based on your DVs, your IVs, I should say. Because it's a 32-bit um, <clears throat> string. But, you know, nobody cares about the uh, numbers under here because they're all going to be like, uh, Gen 1 was better because it doesn't have all these funky numbers, <laughs> nerd. Shut up. Yes, it did. As a matter of fact, it's easier to understand nowadays. Fucking ridiculous. Yep, Ruby is just wrecking everything. Maybe I should put that limiter back on. Use Ruby as much, or if I'm going to use him, just don't bleed. Oh, yeah, using it as shit. Well, Ruby's actually not probably the best choice here, anyway. Let's go with Smog, Genesis, and Lies. Glad this isn't Gen 3 forward, because, uh, Ghastly's got fucking levitate. See ya. I don't even know if that was necessary. Blinky Doom. With a submission. Oh, 
Oh boy. Let's go with flamethrower. Higher base damage stab's gonna put it right about the same power as submission. Plus it's going off my better offense. So yeah. Flamethrower probably would have done a lot more damage right out of the gate anyway. Vulpix. Destroyed. Don't fuck with my treasure hoard. I guess. Yeah, Smog just wrecks this guy's entire team. Huh. Mm. Do Sephira because of fire. And Lies because of ground. What the hell? I don't think Voltorb's faster than Charizard. Never mind, should've went with Flamethrower. Cause Ivysaur's coming out, isn't it? Bloom, whatever, same type. Same pitiful damage. The only thing that could've taken less damage is Execute. All my Charizard sets are the same. Well, all my party sets are the same. The only one that's different is, um, of course, the Petite Cup, which had to be different. See ya, Voltus. Should have just ate it last time. Just saying. Agitus. Great. It's a nice thing about having a few Pokemon that are um, actually versatile in first gen. things that made Charizard decent. Let's go with Sephira, Genesis, and what's the biggest pain for... Well, I guess with... Well, yeah, I think I'll use Smog just in case the Ditto's in, in, um, in the runnings. I switch to Smog and then switch to Sephira. This is an interesting semi-mirror match. And Dragonite is faster than Dragonair? What? Huh. Well, I guess it doesn't matter now. Oh boy. 
Para Dragon Rage. Uh, let's send Smog in. Only because, you know, more effective moves. It's almost a you expect. You motherfucker! Smog, thank you. Omatar. Hey guys, it's Omatar. You watch, this fucker's got like glare or something. Even though that's not legal for Omatar to have. Though, probably can't have body slam, so... I wouldn't put it past the game at this point. I almost fat-fingered and hit body slam. See you, Omatar. Persian. Oh, Pisian, excuse me. Mm. Let's go with a sleep powder. Don't you dare paralyze. Because that would have done pissed me off. See if I can get a leech seed off. Hey, this time it didn't get a first turn wake. Imagine that. Let's get some HP back here. Not that it matters. Standard rest fare there. Well, I went with the uh, smog because, you know, more options to hit it harder. Oh boy. We're either in bad shape or uh, paralyzed. Great. Wonderful. Oh, okay. Then not Genesis. Okay. Reread that. Though, if that almost start was carrying Ice Beam, I would have been scared. Because with the bugginess of Gen 1, every one that I use takes double damage from Ice. Oh boy. Let's go with Genesis, Enertron, and... Gonna have to go with Rui. But only as a last ditch effort. I want to actually have some battles here. Well, if the switch makes, then, uh, the switch makes, oh my god. If the switch happens, then, you know, it didn't, but I was about to say a new Pidgeot's here. We must not be using it, then. Do goatee. Probably toting an ice beam. We'll find out if it survives. 
critical hit doesn't mean anything. Yep, totem ice beam. Hmm, that actually hit pretty hard. <laughs> I don't know, it looks to me like a 3 0 right off the bat. This is the Pokeball, after all. CD. CD indeed. See if this bastard has Ice Beam too. No, well, never mind. It didn't survive. See ya. I think everyone's been chosen to battle so far. Just not everyone's been in battle. The only one that's not been is in. The only one that hasn't been in is Enderthron in it. Oh boy. Let's see. That fucking dragon air. Fucking, I'm gonna break the rule. The rule that's not actually there. Because my best bet here is fucking Ruby. Come on, Ruby. Don't disappoint me, buddy. And yeah, we're gonna eat a Thunder Wave. Because of course we are. It's like the only thing Dragonair has. We might as well switch now. So we're just gonna be eating a fucking dragon rage. Unless it's got Thunderbolt. It's a pretty high chunk. Pretty high probability. Oh, great. More of this garbage. Why do I have the choice to pick a move? I don't have an attack. I can't move. Whatever. I'll work with it. And of course. Well, I might as well check what that notification was on my phone. Since I'm going to be here a while and it's that freaking weird Twitch bot on Twitter. Named Peekaboo with the green freaking avatar. Always likes to retweet me, just randomly. Whenever I mention my streams. Never the stream tweet never the stream tweet itself. Just the fact that I'm thinking about it. Mm. My best bet here is Thunderbolt. Well, that's not bad. This guy doesn't have a grass type, so I don't have to worry about leech seed coming. Unless, of course, you know, this is somehow an illegal tentacle that somehow has leech seed. I mean, save editors are a thing. Not that we don't already know that. Which actually kind of reminds me. It's, uh... I wonder if my buddy Lurid Sorcerer is still working on his save editor for Red Blue. Maybe his will be better than the one that we're working with now. Because it's kind of garbage. Let's get Lies in there. Bogar. With Poison Sting? Are you serious? Aw, oh, come on. This is the fucking Poke Cup. You're using level 52 Arbok. Why do you have fucking Poison Sting? 
you dingus. So yeah, first round of the uh, Poke Cup, and the entire team has seen some screen time. It's not bad. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's go with Smog, Enertron, and Ruby. I'm going to regret meeting Smog. Hold it. Let's get the Nitron in there. Now, for this was Gen 6 rules. Thunder Wave would have done nothing. Seeing Slowpoke move first. Oh, jeez. That was a critical hit. That was only 48 damage. Up your game, Slowpoke. Come on, buddy. Fucking ridiculous. Oh yeah. Now let's get Smog back in there. Guess I've got Pin Missile. But... It's coming from a freaking paralyzed Jolteon. Oh, of course! Fucking A. Hopefully the special drop doesn't matter too much. Made enough of a difference. Oh, yeah. Is minus one straight to half, or does it go down to uh, three quarters? I don't remember. I don't use stat drops enough on Showdown to know. Not that it really matters, because I don't think the uh, rules are the same. Growing the... Uh. Alright. Uh, let's go for the Earthquake, because I think my special and physical attack are on equal ground now. Okay. This is gonna hurt. Ooh! Smog is still in it. Though I guess it really doesn't matter at this point. If I lose a Pokemon, because this is the final match. And I only just now realized the um, stealth pun I put in my team. The Stormy named Ruby... The Dragonite named Sephira? Ruby and Sapphire. How did I not notice that when I was building the team? Please fail. Oh, good. The game empathized. Thank you. Had another critical hit that didn't matter. Good job.
for the next one. Ghastly line, huh? Oh boy. Uh, let's lead with lies. Let's go with Enertron and Smog. The lies at least takes out the Haunter line. Oh hi, again, Gar. Oh, that critical hit didn't matter. But then again, I guess it's tradition at this point. It's Jin X. I'm probably gonna get a blizzard here, but whatever. Of course, this bastard is just metronome spam all the time again. Hey, Jay. Uh, let's send... Smog in. What the hell? Smog's got Earthquake just in case Ghastly or Haunter is number three. The white lead with your best. Kick's not gonna do shit. Oh, wow, there's actually a model for Jinx's foot? That's a thing. Oh, it's round two. Poke Cup was something. Well, the Poke Ball, I should say. This is the Poke Cup. Alright, Scooter. What's your number three, buddy? Really? Really? You had Haunter! Sorry, a level 53 Ghastly is not going to make up for the fact that you had a level 51 Haunter. I think it was 51, at least I wasn't looking. Either way, it's one of the most fragile fucking Pokémon. Generic foot model or not, I'm surprised it actually had it. It's fucking weird. Mm. Let's go with Smog, Lies, and Sephira. Oh, this is gonna be an easy kill. I don't think you can... Wow. Off Venom. Off Venom, ladies and gentlemen. Or should I just say gentlemen? And it survived. Holy shit. Hmm. Then again, Venomoth is one of the... One of the better specials. Yeah, but the announcer's annoying as hell. I'm the announcer. I at least have more than just a couple canned phrases. It's Bokar! What the fuck kind of names are these? Though I guess I've been bitching about them the entire game so far, so I don't know why I'm surprised. <laughs> oh, now Smog's tripping. You okay, buddy? Way to hit him while he's down, Bokar.
Mon Chan High. Seriously, these fucking names. No, it's not. Um, I suppose it doesn't matter at this point. He threw up hair. That's actually going to hurt after my poison damage next turn. It's not going to kill, but it's going to come close. Oh boy. Well, he's definitely in kill range now, so... Let's just finish this. I don't think Flamethrower is going to miss. And since I made the kill, residual damage doesn't tick. So there we go. Smog for best dragon. Well, both of my dragons are technically earthquake proof because they're both flying type. Okay, what are you. If he's. Are you switching to your Zubat? You're switching to your fucking Zubat. A level 54 Zubat. <laughs> Whoa, why? Oh man, why waste potential on your team by just weighting it against something so useless? What's it gonna do? Leech? Oh, toxic. I'm not sure why I'm surprised by that. Literally everything except for like Magikarp and the bugs. Like the proto bugs, I should say. Caterpie, Weedle, Kakuna, and Dickweed. Dickworm, excuse me. Magic card can learn like toxic double team and shit like that. Basically, a can strategy, really. Meaning, it's in a can, not you can do it. I mean, technically, you can, but semantics. I'm arguing them for you. Am I going to see a uh, surf here? No. Who rolls a tentacle and doesn't give it surf? Oh, shit. Well, my best switch here is uh, Genesis. Great. Oh, there it is. I guess you can say I finally predicted them. Damn. Ah, oh, shit. Damn it, Genesis. Come on, buddy. Oh no! This is bad news, bears. Mm. Oh, nice! Good job, Jen. Good job, buddy. Magneton. Hmm. Well, since Elias is only poisoned... What's Magneton gonna do? 
Thunderbolt. I think we do a lot of things. Oh, wow, I predicted the Thunderbolt. When I was mocking it. <laughs> and, of course, Doug Trio is going to be faster. It's going to the highest speed tiers in all of Gen 1. I think it's at, like, 110 or something. Oh, boy. You obnoxious piece of shit. Alright, let's send in Smog to finish this shit off. I can't believe I only did 132 damage with fucking Earthquake! Stab super effective! But then again, this is Magneton, one of the best defenses in the game. Hyper Beam's gonna hurt. Never mind! That bounced off and tickled! Steel type doesn't exist yet, so. Blech. Not that it matters anyway. No matter what I picked, even if I had picked Fly, I would have killed it in one hit. In that range. surprise me. Though in this game is the Petite Cup. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, shit. Well, Smog, really. This is the same team as the last time, pretty much. Only instead of it Execute, he's got Parasect, and instead of, um, shit, I, knew, I think it was Raichu, he's got Electabuzz. So let's go with Smog, Lies, and Sephira like we did last time against this guy. Oh, yeah. At least the Little Cup makes sense. It's literally just anything that can evolve that hasn't. But, of course, that, like, lets some really broken shit in. Granted, you know, this is before some Pokemon were allowed in, like Sneasel. As a matter of fact, um... When 4th Gen came around and Weevil was introduced, they're like, yeah, no. They, I think they quick banned Sneasel because of how good it was. They're like, yeah, no, we can't... There's no way they're, they're going to be able to handle that. Electrice. I'm predicting a Thunderbolt here. And I called it. To no one's surprise. Ha! Way to waste your one turn, you might possibly survive. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of shit that gained evolutions in 4th gen, just, they were barred. They're like, yeah, no. You were just too fucking good. Get the hell out of here. And it looks like I brought in Sephira for no reason. Oh, yeah. So with the sleep cause being a thing, you know, you get one really fast uh, sleep and then everything else would be able to wail on you. Then again, if their team wasn't built to deal with bug flying very well, outside of, you know, the thing you put to sleep, 
then, uh, yeah, we're fucked. And I don't think that critical hit mattered. Truth be told. Well, yeah, and, uh, Gen 6 isn't hypnosis up to 90 accuracy. Which is fucking broken. Because that puts it above sleep power. Every time I see Dragonair, I'm like, Ugh. It's Chazad! Sire, Kankon, Porath, Rachu. <laughs> what the fuck kind of names are these? Jesus Christ. Uh, let's go with Smog, Sephira, and Ruby. Flamethrower is going to do more damage because Kanga's gone to build like a fucking truck. Well, it wasn't bad. 103 damage. And Rock is going to hurt like a bitch. I survived though. It's kind of sad that uh, it would have only done a base of 30 some damage. Kind of pathetic. Oh, great, it's Draegar. Draegar, Dragair. Dumb. Oh, wow, that bounced right off. And see you, Smog. Oh no, it missed! What the hell? Uh. I don't want to risk sending out a times two to a times four, so I'm gonna switch in Ruby here. Ruby should be able to kill from this range with the Ice Beam. Or get frozen. Or it could miss again. I am totally fine with that. There's actually nothing better than uh, someone going for power over accuracy and having it bite them right in the balls. It's Chazad! I think this guy mimicked me as close as he could. But I've got the better party because, you know, I'm awesome. Also, this game is easily broken. Yeah, but the thing is, if I would have sent Safira in, Safira would have gotten hit with a crit. That's just my luck. And then there would have been my continue gone. The continue that I hopefully won't need. But then again, the Ultra Ball is coming up, so, uh, yeah. And that was Battle 5, so. <laughs> Temptation to use Ruby here. She's gonna, she's gonna be my number three, but uh, watch. it's Marody. Shit. Let's send in Genesis. Cause Genesis will be able to take an earthquake 
or Bone Meringue or Bone Club, whatever the fuck this retard wants to use. Oh no, you don't! No, 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 no. Don't start this horse shit. Into Firo. Firodi. This is gonna suck. Oh, wow. That didn't do hardly anything. Uh, let's send an Endertron. Yes, it's gonna be a revolving door this fight. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, he stayed in. Oh no, not this. Not this. Oh god. Please, Thunderbolt miss. Hit, 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 hit. I meant hit. Thank you. Neutron's doing his job. Back in the Marudi. Yeah, let's send in Genesis here. Even though the first turn's gonna be fucking double team. This is gonna suck. This is going to be fucking awful. Wait, Venusaur is faster than Marowak? News to me. Hmm. No, I don't have Solar Beam. <laughs> because Solar Beam is garbage. Got Razor Leaf, though. And see you, Omastar. Yeah, Venusaur's got what, like, base 85 speed? I guess, uh, Marowak's only got, like, base 60. And yeah, that was a perfect win. And smog, what the hell? Oh boy. I love how I'm picking all these bad starts. Oh, 45 to 50? Okay. Has it gone up and down with the generations or something? Well, Enertron should be able to uh, shake that off. Oh yeah. 45 damage is nothing. I don't think this guy has a ground type. Uh, Jolteon is green because of his name. The, um... Since... Red, blue, and yellow didn't have set in stone uh, palettes. They just said, oh, well, let's just change their colors based on their names for Pokemon Stadium. And I did not think this through very well, did I? Probably should have used Genesis. Forty-five, okay. Ouch! Earthquake 
he's going to do more damage. And Lies is dead this turn. Because I don't think there's any... Oh, wow! Sandslash withstood that really well. Holy shit. Donger, could you please stop telling me to use moves that I don't have? I don't have dig. I actually built competitive sets for this. I didn't use garbage. Oh, great. He saw right through me. Fuck. Well, I'm gonna lose someone this fight. From the way things are looking, depending on who is number three is. Donger, I'm going to have to ask you to stop that. Because you're actually getting kind of annoying. Why well, use a two turn attack when the one turn attack does more damage? So far, so good. I actually thought I was going to lose someone in that seventh battle. Let's see. Everything's a psychic type except for Clefable. Oh, well, it's, with the stream delay, it's kind of hard to keep everything in turn order. Well, keep everything in line, I should say. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, shit, I think I actually still have a uh, stream delay because I didn't think about it. Let's check that real quick. Yeah, I forgot to turn. Son of a bitch. Should be fixed now. Wait, Dig is power 100 or did Earthquake get boosted? Uh, let's go with Lies, Smog, and Ruby. Huh, it got weakened. That's weird. Let's see. Don't know why I kept Lies in, because Clefable probably has Blizzard or Ice Beam. Smog is one of my best Pokemon on my team. What are you talking about? And great. Who do I have? Yeah, I think they dropped Dig to 60 in Gen 2. And then brought it back up to 80 where it is now. Oh, hey! It's Mr. Mime. Not quite Percy from your Randlock, but hey, it's still a Mr. Mime. Well, now I have really no other 
recourse than to use Earthquake because <laughs> it just kind of killed Flamethrower's power there. Alright, now, how does light screen work in Gen 1? Does it just affect the user, or does it actually affect the entire team? Yeah, that kind of sucked how he died. Well, it sucked that he died. I forget how he did. survive much more than this. Yeah, it's a three hit kill either way you slice it. Even if I get a special drop here, it's dead next turn. Yeah, late screen must only affect the user. And of course, the unnecessary critical hits that happen all the time. Yeah, I don't think they um, added the party effect until Gen 2. Well, with robu more robust coding. I think this is the point in the uh, tournament where I can stop not using Ruby as my lead. Because, uh... <laughs> oh, shit. That chance he scares me, actually. Let's use Ruby, Lies, and Smog. Oh, wow, I picked a good lead. How about that? Make Ma Champ's head explode, please. Help is survived because of the stat drop. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> yeah, I've used. I used this uh, save chain. A save editor. Because I didn't feel like messing with it. Oh boy. Lies might be my best bet against Chansey. I figured since Gen 1 was broken to all hell, I might as well, uh. You know. Might as well be allowed to cheat a little bit. I know there's ways to get under level Dragonair. I don't know about Dragonite. Though, you know, it's not any different than Lance having three illegal Dragonites in gold and silver. I think I'm allowed to have a level 51 Dragonite. And I'm glad I pulled in Lies because otherwise that Chansey was going to be a nightmare to deal with. What's your number three, buddy? Prime... Oh, Prim Ape, excuse me. And let's go back in. Either way, 
the games have had illegal Pokemon before. And I used the save editor, so... You know, I think I'm allowed to have some fuckery here every once in a while. Yeah, that's another thing, you know? The game lets you use illegal level. And I don't know why I went back into Ruby like that. What's your point, Usagi? about that. The one time I decided to, you know, use Ruby as my lead, she was taken out. There you go. Oh, now was the round one. Great. Let's hope this doesn't become a trend. Go Ruby, Smog, and Energon. I'm not going to explain it again, how I have my Dragonite. Though mine still technically has illegal sets because of tradeback rules. Sure, it'll come up in the game as pink for illegal because of... Uh, Ice Beam and... No, it's not Ice Beam that's illegal, it's uh, Flamethrower and Wing Attack, but there's a legal by uh, Crystal. Levels might not be right, but my sets, my moves on my sets are. So that's all that matters, really. I think I'm gonna switch just so I can get my accuracy back. Seeing as this is emulated, the game has been known to crash with certain plugins. It's like, um, actually, Stadium 2 will crash with the one that um, enables you to actually import your Pokemon. Under the right circumstances, your uh, game will actually start fucking up. Like, if you try to go into any of the tournaments that just goes right into it, meaning either the Pico or the, the uh, the little or the prime cups, it'll actually freeze and actually go faster than it's supposed to be. But it'll be effectively locked. Hopefully we don't see that too much whenever I get to it, but... It does happen at the end of, like, any tournaments or, um, Gym Leader Castle. Ruby, 
Three smog and lies. What the hell? No, Gengar's gonna be easy to take care of. I just hope that Lapras doesn't come out. Lapras is gonna be tricky to deal with. And Gengar took that Psychic really well. Holy crap. What's this thing's endgame? Since I know I'm gonna see a couple of its moves. Oh, Nightshade! No, not sitting in for that! No, thank you. Send Smog in for Earthquake. I think Smog's gonna outspeed it, yeah. I think this guy's strategy is confusion and set damage. I think. Yeah, Lapras can get. I think. I know it can get confused, right? Send Ruby back in. Even though I'm probably gonna eat a confuse right here. No, oh, Hydro Pump. Wow, that still did a lot of damage. Holy crap. It's probably Tote and Thunderbolt too. And, of course, it's got special defense for days. Come on, Ruby. Okay, either he's going... Either he doesn't have Confuse Ray, or he's just trying to brute force me to death. Probably going for the brute force. Ooh, Ruby's still in it. Good job. Good job, buddy. Let's finish this Lapras off and then switch out. Send in lies. Even though there's probably going to be a confuser right coming at me. No? Well, I'm glad I switched then. Holy shit. That preserved my continue. M-O-G-A-I, holy shit. Mm. Dare I stay in, or do I switch to smog? Ah, fuck it, let's stay in. Fire Blast, great. Ooh, damn. Alright, Smog is my best bet here. And the thing is, if this fucker keeps doing high amounts of damage like that, it's gonna be freaking just killing things and then, uh... Cleaning up with Quick Attack. And of course, this is Gen 1, so Earthquake isn't going to do anything here. Yup. 
It's okay, Dig's not gonna do anything either. Why he didn't go for quick attack, I have no idea. Probably because he knew he wasn't gonna do anything anyway. Yeah. That was a close game. Holy shit. So far, the Ultra Ball has actually shown me some resistance. It's kind of nice. Alright. Same team as last time, I guess. Well, same general idea. Three electric, three grass. So, smog... Uh, Sephira and Lies, I guess. Hmm. Is he gonna switch like a wimp? Yes, he is. Probably too like the buzz here. Oh, Jolteon. Probably because Jolteon's faster. Oh, dang! That critical hit probably didn't matter. Ho oh, ho ho! Wow. Good job, Scooter. That first turn critical hit didn't matter. Though it's nice to see a critical hit that didn't kill. Especially given the uh, track record of this game. And yeah, wow. If he manages to get through Smog, then uh, Sephira is going to be able to clean up because of Flamethrower. Alright, I don't think that's going to matter unless he's got Toxic too. It's not like protect is a thing yet, so don't have to worry about toxic stalling. Great! What was that critical hit the first turn? Could have avoided the freaking seeds. Stun Spore missed. Good job. You're toast. Almost a true perfect win. Took nine damage because of Leech Seed. Definitely something the players going back now can uh, abuse. Oh boy, this is gonna be a nightmare. Dragite, Toss, Morris, Gyados, Magton, and <laughs> fucking Ron. <laughs> what is the fucking Rhydon? Just break me. <laughs> Ron. Ruby, Smog, and... Shit, no one's really much of an answer to anything else. Of course, I used my two with the widest coverage. Uh, I guess I could use Enertron. <laughs> Ron Burgundy? I don't get the reference. Oh, great. Bad lead.
gonna have to deal with it because I should have used Lies instead of uh, Enertron. Oh, dang. <sighs> this is gonna suck. Surf is slightly more powerful than Psychic, so. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ruby's pretty much worthless now. But, uh, let's go for Anatron here because I can resist the, earth, the fucking Thunderbolt. Ron Weasley would have made more sense to me. I think Endertron's got speed here. See you, Magton. Into Ron, right? I fucking called it. I'm gonna lose someone in this fight. Really wish that Ruby was still in fighting shape. Oh boy. Yeah, I may lose this fight. I'm gonna send in Ruby anyway. Because even though I think Rhydon is faster than Paralyzed Starmie, it's my best bet. And... Oh, fuck. Great! It's Smog against the world now! Smog against the world, and that thing's probably got rock slide. In defense for days. Please miss. Yup, that's it! That's all she wrote. Shit! This is round five, isn't it? A trend! I'm seeing one. Yes, a trend! I am very much seeing one because I had three continues last time. Dear God. Oh, let's go with the lies, Ruby and Smog. He's not gonna lead with the Magneton this time. Guarantee it. Motherfucker. Though I think I can get a free switch into Ruby because he's not going to use Thunder Wave if he can't do anything with it. That's cute. Please tell me. I more okay good. I was about to say please tell me that went more left than up. Cause I just kind of tapped between them. I'm like, oh shit. Oh no thunder no thunder wave. Color me surprised. Also no thunderbolt. What the hell? Like bolt beam is the best fucking set you can have on a Dragonite in Gen 1. So, of course, I'm using fucking 
wing attack, surf. Stupid shit. Oh, hi, Tauros. Probably has a uh, Thunderbolt. Because why else would you send that in? That's a... Ooh, that's going to be a rocky two-hit kill. Do I risk it? Yes, I do. Dare I risk it? Because I did 85 the first time. Let's hope that was minimum damage. Nope! Son of a bitch. Please miss. You cocky motherfucker. <laughs> oh, sorry. That was fitting. Should've went with the body slam, you would've gotten a hit. Magton gonna do? <laughs> Double edge? Please, I hope it does like 80 damage. No? Dang. Just because killing itself with recoil would have been hysterical. I can't get mad about that critical hit because it was guaranteed. And trend broken! Right. It was kind of funny how uh, Ultra Five still turned into be my fucking nightmare. Lots of water, lots of ground. Let's see. Let's go with Genesis Ruby and let's see. Hmm. Enertron. Oh wow. Battle of the starters. Blastody. It's like custody, but you're blowing it out of a cannon. I guess. As soon as the battle started, no less. Dang, I actually wasn't expecting the one-hit kill. Stormy probably has Ice Beam. But I'm not going to let it scare me out. No, it's got double team instead. Son of a bitch. Please, Razor Leaf hit. Leave in the heart of the cards. Damn it. Wrong tagline, I guess. Who runs a physical Stormy? That's dumb. Seriously. Who does that? Please be enough. Good deal. Get that retarded shit out of here. Don't tell me you had the Dodrio. No? Dang. Because it didn't matter who I used. Huh. <laughs> I guess so.
<laughs> Gravity instead of gravity. Or are you just saying that, uh, just take out the ED and you just get gravy? <laughs> that fight was a joke compared to the last one. What the hell? Kind of pitiful, if you ask me. Three normal types. Mon Lee hit. Desh Rapey. Kedrati. Rostow. Sienper. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, man. Let's go with Ruby because it wrecks half of his team. Smog because it wrecks the other half. And... Enertron, I guess. But we don't have much else to really use. It's Sianper. Probably has the Thunderbolt. You can tell I've been watching a lot of items lately. Shit. Uh, 81 damage. I hope that was minimum. Wow, that was almost a good choice. If this was Gen 2 forward. Or at least that 81 be on the uh, low side. Okay, good. No way of telling, I guess. Hit one Lee sound like it's burping. It's day shrapy. I still call it rapid rash though. It's a rash dapy. Oh look, my Stormy's gonna wreck this guy's entire fucking team. Oh wow, it survived! Took the the actual game's cry as being silly, but some of these are just random ass noises. At least Rapid Dash makes sense. It's a horse. Special juggernauts and a special sponge. Ruby is not a good idea for this fight. I'm thinking smog, lies, and Sephira. It's a good thing there's no Pokemon that uh, starts with Influ. Reflect is fucking powerful, I guess. Holy shit. Oh, fuck you. I may lose this fight once or twice. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. 
two hits that hardly did 63 damage. Oh my god. This Alakazam may be the end of me. Wow, really? Oh god. Let's see if Hyper Beam actually does something. Pretty much. Oh my god, that's how it feels. Well, Hyper Beam almost killed it. You did good, Safira. And Dragonite. Well, Alkazam was faster than Charizard. Come on, lies, be faster. Please be faster. Because I can use your slash to ignore that fucking defense boost. Thank you! I guess so. That hyper beam was actually a last ditch effort, honestly. Because if I wasn't going to be able to get close with Hyper Beam, I wouldn't have stood a chance with anyone else. And this is the final battle anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. It's actually some pretty tense shit. Uh, it wasn't, that was a respectable 80. Defense greatly increased. Too bad my uh, Slash ignores that. Probably doesn't do enough damage to kill anyway. Oh wow, it did! <laughs> Who's your number three, asshole? Chansey? Wow, fucking called that! Alright. What am I looking at? For? Oh, smog is in bad shape. But I should be able to get a two-hit kill. That's pretty solid. Not going for a boost! Huh, I'm surprised. Well, that's the Ultra Ball wrapped. Dang. a thing. It was smoother than the Prime Ultra. So I guess that's a good thing. Here we go. Last but not least. I do not like the look of this team. Alakazam and Kadabra? Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. Shit. Well, let's go with Ruby. Lies. And Smog, just in case the Clefable comes out. This fight's gonna be bad news bears, isn't it? Surf just because it does the most damage, if only because of stab.
Wow, really? Counter? You dingus? Metronome Absorb. Really? We're starting this shit again? Please be in range to kill. And don't explode if I don't. Okay, good. It's down. Like that booze. I have a feeling a thunderbolt's coming. Call it a hunch. No, another counter? Why? Counter's only gonna work if I use slash. You dingus. Looks like counter metronome this guy's strategy. Oh, really? Oh, what do you know? Just to add insult to injury. Just because I'm an asshole. See ya! Also, I wanted to see the critical hit on the kill. This is the only way I'm guaranteed to see it. Kazam. Alright. Wow, his, this guy's team actually reached the 155 limit for the level. Huh. Oh, yeah. Of course, because it's my Doug Trio. Round one, he was one of the ones that I always used. It was always fucking Stormy, Dugtrio, and Jolteon. I guess Stormy and Dugtrio are the best two Pokemon you can use together. In Gen 1. That's right, Brick, get out of here. Oh, wow. This is another job for Ruby, Lies, and Smog. Oh, boy. You know, I probably should be using fucking Psychic instead of Surf. Or, you know, I can get a critical hit and have it not matter. And that critical hit did matter. But I was gonna I was trying to say use psychic just in case I get a special drop. That way Surf would start doing more damage after that. Is that two for two critical hits? I think that's two for two critical hits. What the fuck? And I love how it didn't call attention to the fact that the thing's name was Wrath Poly. Let's see, is he gonna survive that? Yep, he will. That earthquake's gonna do nearly enough. Never mind. Dang. Well, I get the special drop, and now it doesn't matter.
Gotta go for the magic reference, huh? How in the hell would you pronounce that? Like I said? Oh, wow. Gengar and Haunter. Dang. Uh, let's go with Ruby Smog and Enertron. Yeah, true. Considering how your fucking namesake is from magic. Even though Phyresis is a fucking thing. I actually just said that. Oh, great. More of this shit. Though I have a feeling that I'm gonna have a Thunderbolt coming my way. So I'm gonna take gonna switch to the one that can soak it and return it for extra damage. <laughs> this Thunderbolt's like one of the best moves. Or, you know. Oh! He's switching! he have? Ninetales is still gonna fucking eat shit to a Thunderbolt. Uh, 69 damage. That's a three hit kill from this range. But I'm predicting a Confuse Ray coming, so might as well get a nice big hit. Oh dang! That killed! That critical hit did matter! Dang, I'm actually getting some actually useful critical hits now. What the fuck, game? Haunt her. Which actually, Fifth Assist is actually used as a magic card name. A really expensive discard spell. Critical hit, did that matter? Yeah, a little bit. Alright, I have no idea what you're planning to do. Probably Nightshade, so I can probably get Ruby back in. Oh wow, didn't go for the Nightshade. Oh fuck. Well, might as well go for the Psychic, and then when the Lapras comes back out... Just, uh, eat the Confused Ray and switch back to Enertron. I thought that Fifth Assist was a spell from Phyrexia. Though I have a feeling that he's gonna lead, he's gonna follow that up with a body slam. So I got a 30% chance of Enertron being paralyzed here. That didn't happen, wow. Dang. Well, I knew it was from Time Spiral, I just... And with the fact that the Dominaria plane was all kinds of fucked up because of trying to stop Nicol Bolas, you know, references to Phyrexia would be coming up, you know. But then again, I'm not all that well versed on the mythos of magic. Though I probably should read up on that, because that's actually a really good multiverse to read into. Oh boy! 
Oh boy, this actually kind of counters my uh, use of smog. Let's see. Ruby. Oh, no, smog, ruby, sapphire. There we go. Yeah, it's a... I think it's a uh, nine-cost black spell. It's one I tried to run in the Madness deck. And, you know, it worked probably about as well as you could expect. Meaning not, because, you know, I either never lived that long or didn't need it. Zappus. Great. Seven. Okay. And with... Well, with... Huh? Two for five turns to spend isn't bad. All things considered, because, you know, with Joyra's Tie Bug and all that... Wow. Joyra's Time Bug. I can speak. I promise. Oh, how bad is this gonna hurt? Enough to scare Smog out. Wow! Thanks! I switched to my Dragonite to be able to eat your fucking attacks, and no, all I did was... Fucking eat shit. <sighs> Prick. Oh, yeah. Let's go for the hyper beam. And of course, where I choose faster. Probably gonna get the kill this range. No! But the hyper beam is pretty much giving the kill anyway. If it survives. Which it did. That did pitiful damage. 116 for a power 150? Fuck me. Not gonna continue for this fight. Oh look, traditional critical hit that didn't matter. Please don't remind me of the Eldrazi, I hate them. Yeah, they're hard to cast, but... Uh, I don't know, I just looked at Ulamog, the new one. With the tweezer? The tweezer? The teaser? Uh-huh. Fucking horrifying. What's Exutase gonna do? Hopefully nothing. Oh, really? Yeah, they're ridiculously powerful despite their cost. Well, the only thing, the only artifact creature that comes to mind is uh, Darksteel Colossus, and you know, in turn, Blightsteel Colossus. You know, ten, ten for ten, trample. Oh boy, we're seeing the birds. Smog and lies. What the hell?
switch this mob to avoid the damage. Seriously, why run a two-turn attack when I'm pretty sure Arcanine can learn Earthquake? Wait. Exile was when they're attacked? So fucking Annihilator got boosted? Oh god. Because I know Annihilator was fucking... Uh, sacrifice. Oh, great. Snokes. Sounds like a cross between s fucking Snopes and Hoax. Oh, wow. Nice. Submission's my only recourse here. Let's hope this thing's not running fucking rest. Please don't be running rest. Oh god, please no. Oh, psychic's gonna hurt. Ow! Wait, that was a plus two psychic and it didn't. That didn't a lot less than I thought. Sounds about right, yeah. Well, that's... Eh. Darksteel Colossus at 10-10 for 10. That's indestructible with Trample. But then again, getting two 10-10s for 10. Ooh. Oh, great. Okay, I wasn't expecting Artuna to hit that hard. Oh, come on! Blade Steel Colossus is the Dark Steel Colossus after Phyrexia got a hold of it. And it became the fucking Fear of the Mirrens. I've been paying more attention to the chat than I have been the fight, because I didn't even realize that Arcano was still alive. That's gross. That's, like... Well, Wayland of Anticipation is blue, so I was about to say, that's some blue shit right there. Uh, let's see. Ruby wrecks this guy's entire team. Enertron takes out four of them, and Genesis takes out the other... Well, actually, Genesis takes out the whole team, too. Shit. Except for the Aerodactyl. Is that critical hit? Oh, wow! Yeah, I definitely- I can tell you that critical hit mattered. 
That critical hit definitely did matter. Vepodi. If that thing has missed, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be like, yeah, we get it, you vape. Because it's like right in its name. Oh wow. It took that really well. I guess that was 84 damage, so. Still a guaranteed three hit kill. If I can get the three hits off. Please don't use double team again, you fucking cunt. You fucking cunt. There is no other way to say that. And remain calm about it. Oh great, now he's gonna fucking chip damage me to death. Oh wow! The plus two evasion didn't help him. Thank you, RN Jesus. And Dugdi. It's a completely one-sided battle of the freaking mighty here. I respect your gusto, kid, but uh, you just couldn't go. Zardchari, Sorvinu, Lurking, Thirsty, Triodig, and Sianper. <laughs> the fucking Persian name just kills me. Uh, Ruby kills everything. Smog takes out Sianper. And shit. This team's actually balanced. Um, let's go with Sephira. Just because Sephira's got another four color move list. You can tell we're getting close to the end. Oh, damn! Oh, 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 oh man! Oh, that is cruel. Surprise! He's not switching out so that he can, you know, get out of the freeze claws. Per. Right, let's see how he looks at Psychic. Yeah, and if they didn't have a graveyard, they couldn't delve. Wow! That critical hit only did 109 damage. Dang. Let's see. I should be able to kill with Psyche from this range. Huh. Must be nice to be able to make those calcs game.
smoke takes care of this, so... Though I hope he doesn't bring out his Charizard next. Oh, great. Oh, son of a bitch! <sighs> Fucking crits everywhere. Really badly timed crits at that. Son of a bitch, how did I know he was going to bring out his fucking Jarzard? And I can't do a damn thing to him. I love how he's a level higher, but I've got more HP. Let's see if let's see if Fly does more damage. Cause that's literally the only fucking recourse I have now. Nice crit. That wasn't bad. About eighty-eight damage. Now Saphir can come in and clean up. Dang. I'm not gonna risk a Hyper Beam. Ice Beam is gonna do super effective damage because Gen 1. Come back when you can do at least 50 damage, buddy. Oh boy. That fight was almost stressful. What you got for me, Psycho? I mean, Psychic. An actual team of fucking Psychics. Oh, God, this fight's gonna suck! This fight is going to fucking suck. Uh, let's go for Ruby, Smog, and Elize. Surf here. Oh boy, fifty one damage. Reflect should only affect physical damage. Why use reflect in that switch? Doesn't do anything for your new Pokemon. What the hell? Idiot. Yeah, 39 damage is actually still respectable. Yeah, amnesia's not gonna help you, buddy. I've already got you out of the way. Watch, she's gonna bring in the executor. How in the fuck do I do this? <sighs> yeah, but the thing is, I knew we had reflect, so, you know, moot point. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Let's bring in Smog. 
That way I can laugh at his grass moves. And, you know, his... His slow bro is a non-factor now. So even if he brings in the slow bro now, which he didn't even bother, that critical hit did matter. Well, Executor's still kind of good in PU with fucking, um, you know, Harvest. Oh, son of a bitch! You motherfucker! <sighs> yeah, the burn, it doesn't fucking matter. Because burn doesn't do shit in Gen 1. It does like 9% damage. Wow, really? So he gets the critical hit and, you know, ignores the stat change that doesn't affect his stats anyway. Oh wow, he's gonna survive the burn damage with one HP. And he gets two critical hits in a row? Gets the kill and doesn't take burn damage anyway. What is this horse shit? <sighs> Don't you dare get the special drop again, you cunt. You son of a bitch! Wow, I love the critical one damage. Totally necessary. And then in comes the slow bro with like 50 HP left. And I don't think slow bro has recovery in, his, in this generation. But it's gonna come down to the Dug Trio now, isn't it? Yep. That's obnoxious. Well, I won anyway, so... It actually went far smoother than I was expecting. Like, the entire Pokecup. Because this is going to be the most blatant anti 
Climax, because it's my entire team against one fucking Pokemon. It's basically pick a lead and roll. Uh, I think... Gem may be my best bet. Though this is a perfect Mewtwo, so... I may actually have some difficulty. Yep, we're already out of the gate with something like this, so... Oh, nice! Critical... Ooh, wow! 165 damage on a crit! Not what I would call wonderful, but... Hey, it's something. And gems out. Zappy might be my best bet here. Basing it totally on nothing. Uh, not that I'm aware of. Oh, great. Oh, no. Oh, we're speed tied. Wonderful. And with that plus... Oh, wait, no. Never mind. The uh, critical hit makes the uh, special boost pointless, really. Oh, wow. Please win the speed tie, Zappy. No! Oh, boy. Let's go with Deck Mole here. Gonna eat a blizzard here. No, it doesn't have it! But I don't think I have the special to survive. I don't. Drace was worthless in this fight. Come on, Gorong. Come on, buddy. Oh, yes! He's still in because of that fucking special boost. Not sure why I didn't go for Earthquake. And I'm not playing this up. I'm actually trying to win this. Well, it's pretty much down to Draco now. Because Draco was going to die in one fucking hit. Because, <laughs> poison. Let's go for that last ditch earth. This, uh. Last ditch hyper beam. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, good, good. Special fellow means that I live. Wow! That was legitimately pretty close. Good job, Draco. Good job, Draco. Damn. That was a perfect DV, perfect EV. Mewtwo. I was basically fighting myself. Let's watch the credits now.
<laughs> yeah. Just uh, with less coverage, apparently. It had Thunderbolt, Psychic, and Amnesia. Those are the only moves we saw. I wonder what its number four was. It wasn't Blizzard, it wasn't Ice Beam. Kind of surprised it wouldn't have been barrier. I like saffron gym. That's kind of cool looking. And fuck this place. Fuck you, Blaine, you fucking prick. I'm not gonna forget that fight anytime soon. Pewter Jim. Wait, wasn't Real to Real the company that was behind Pokemon Snap? Well, I guess a lot of the models are the same. Gross. Oh. And there was no way I was going to be able to stall it. Oh my god. But anyway, that'll do her. Thank you.